All right, folks, we're looking at a B&K Precision 1535 35 MHz dual tray scope. Uh, it's a real beauty. Uh, we measure from 0.5 seconds a, a, a centimeter or division up to uh, 0.1 microseconds per uh, division. We do that 23 ranges horizontally. We've got an A and B channel that we can either select individually, together, or we can do an addition or subtraction of the two channels. We have lots of intensity. We can take ourselves from a modest intensity all the way up to something that's quite bright. So plenty of CRT and we have focus, no problem. Um, Position controls work just fine. This is channel B right now. Channel A. And um, select AC, ground, DC. We go from uh, 10 volts per division to, um, to 2 millivolts per division, and we do that in 12 range steps vertically. Um, we have a... a no problem with our triggering uh, locks in very well we can choose our source to be channel a channel b we can alternate between the two so we can trigger off of both individually that's a rarity you don't find it too often and uh, or we can go externally um, we have an xy capability with this unit and um, XY is on the, uh, the lowest position here in this switch. Our A stick control and trace rotation works just fine on here. And then let me point out that the case on this is just magnificent. It looks brand new. I did give it a paint job. I won't fib you about that, but the paint job turned out excellent. This unit has been completely refurbished. It looks beautiful working handle. There isn't any uh, objectionable scratches on the front, on the, on the, uh, the bezel. Uh, looks like a new unit. You'll be suitably impressed. And we also have um, a working probe calibration point. Okay, so we are uh, connected up to the uh, calibration point. We can see that uh, we're getting our, our one kilohertz signal on there. And then at this point, uh, you know, let's put ourselves in 5x10 mode. And we would adjust now our uh, probe to give us the squarest looking, let's turn this over so I can get to it, squarest looking wave. So I would adjust the probe point. Let's take a look at that. Can you see that the top and bottom are kind of sloped? And I will uh, allow it temp to, let's turn this light off. Might help a little bit, maybe not. All right, now we see our going the wrong way. That's over, over. Uh, now we're undershooting. Let's make it perfectly flat, and that would be about perfect right there. So I've calibrated my probe now, and I should be able to read my uh, frequencies at their their finest at this point. Beautiful scope. I think you'll be very happy with it. Uh, we will be giving you um, a set of uh, 40 megahertz probes with this. And uh, happy bidding. Thanks for listening. Okay. Here we can see that we have we have one full cycle every centimeter every division. It's 
you notice it starts the cycle in, in the same spot across the, the screen. If I pull out the times five knob, instead of being every single division, I should be every five. So here is one, two, three, four, five. One cycle in five divisions. It's stable. It's in five divisions. It's times five. It's exactly what it's supposed to do. So our times five is working well as, uh, as well. Um, that's pretty much it. Wanted to give you a chance to see the interior of the scope. It has it's been cleaned up. It's in good working order. It looks nice. Nothing broken and jumbled about. And as you can tell, I have been in here cleaning the pots and, and the switches and so on like I've claimed. And we'll go ahead and close this thing up and uh, get back on our way.